Sure. Okay, so I'm so excited. Thank you guys for joining Hillary and I for our hi guys. Hi for our two curls on oil virtual green smoothie party. And I'm so excited because I get to share with you my favorite green smoothie recipe that I created. It's my mint chocolate chip green smoothie. So we will get to make it together and this is fun. We'll kind of talk as we go along, but this is anti-inflammatory. It's designed to stabilize your blood sugar. Really breakfast oftentimes is like a gluten dairy sugar bomb. It's just really hard to get away from those foods at breakfast time. You think of cereal or waffles or any of those typical things that we have. And ideally you want to have a lower carb, higher protein breakfast. And so green smoothies are a great way to do that. And it was interesting. I was listening to a women's health conference recently, and they were talking about how it's really important to have one pound of fruits and vegetables a day. And that's a lot. And I did a lot. <laughs> the World Health Organization recommends 10 servings of fruits and vegetables a day. And that's hard to do, especially if you're not getting those things in at breakfast time. You're just doing a typical cereal type thing. So this is a great option for you. We're going to get lots of fiber, lots of vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients in there. Greens, especially leafy greens, are really great for detoxifying estrogen in the body, helping to support the liver. So many great things. So this is going to be a really fun party. And what do you think, Hillary? Should we just jump in? Yeah. Um, well, we're going to get started. And while you're gathering all of your ingredients, let us know in the comments uh, on the chat window on the right side what is in your diffuser. I am diffusing my Anthropology blend, which is my favorite chill, mm. mellow kind of afternoon evening blend with citrus bliss, grapefruit, and white fur. I really like that combo. It's just really relaxing and calming. And um, we want to make sure that everyone gets entered into our giveaway because we're giving away a tub of our Terra Greens and one winner will receive this gift from us. So all you need to do is just place yes. a comment in the comment field right there on the side with whatever's in your diffuser, voila. Um, <laughs> anything, your favorite greens, your favorite smoothie combination, just whatever you want to comment and then we'll send a tub of the greens to you if you win. So. Yeah, let's get us started. Absolutely. So the really nice thing about green smoothies is you literally just throw everything into your blender, <laughs> which makes it super nice and super easy. And I like, now granted, you can take this, play with this, and adjust it to whatever your needs are. But I like my green smoothies to be really creamy, like an ice creamy type of texture, like think Wendy's Frosty type texture. Yeah. And this is really designed to be kind of a dessert type recipe. So I do ice and I start with the ice and I do some crushed ice, but cubed is fine if that's what you got. But typically anywhere from a half a cup to a fourth of a cup, you can go more or less depending on how much you want to put in your blender. I hope you guys can see my blender okay here. But Hillary's getting her ice. <laughs> And so I just start by dumping some of that ice in here and it just makes it really ice cream. And again, you guys could play with this. You could do more or less depending on your preference with that. And then we want to do a large handful of our organic greens. So if you're new to greens and you should definitely be checking out Hillary's I wish I, is there a way for me to share your screen because you're just adorable and I hate that oh, maybe. it's pinned on me the whole time. Uh, um, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Now we can go back and forth a little bit, hopefully. Hi. <laughs> so Hillary's got her spinach. Um, yes. She's ready to go. She's been talking and about spinach all week. All week, all month. month long, we've been talking about greens. We've been talking about kale and seaweed and spinach because you should get to know your greens and they're really not intimidating spinach is one of the most mild um, I, I love to use kale but I also really love to use spinach and I find with chocolate because chocolate is really dense spinach works really well for me but in things that are a little bit um, maybe more fruity I think kale works really well because the tart and sort of bitterness from the kale uh, kind of gets lost and hidden a little bit so you don't notice as much of the bitterness when you pair kale with things like green apples, mango, banana, peaches, pineapple, anything like that. So I sort of gravitate toward my favorites. I'll turn to spinach and things like that when I do chocolate smoothies, but more along the kale lines when I'm doing something tart and fruity. Mm, perfect. 
Yeah, and I'm just going with um, a baby spring mix here. So this was just a blend. I like to get a variety of greens in when I can with that, but basically we want a large handful of organic spinach or whatever greens that you have there. So we're just filling this up because again, right, two servings, or I'm sorry, 10 servings of vegetables a day and around a pound of vegetables and fruit per day. So this is gonna help get us there because look at that, we've got like half of this blender is full with greens right now. Hillary's got it on, going on now, there too. Robin's sharing that she's diffusing lemon, lavender, and peppermint because all of the pollen, yes, mm. all, all of the, all the pollen. Um, Kat is diffusing wild orange and lavender. She loves this blend when she gets home. And Colleen mm. is diffusing um, a cleansing energy blend with three drops of Purify, three drops of Sage, and three drops of lemongrass. Ooh, and speaking of that, and then we also have Danielle who um, is diffusing On Guard because she definitely wants to stay well this season. Uh, Laura, we'll have to share at the end with um, what we did tonight before we did this. Yeah, we definitely will. Okay. This is weird. It's not going back and forth. So I'm going to flip these back and forth, Hillary. We'll do it oh, manually. Okay. So sure. now we're going to add our protein powder. So ideally, and my mentor, Dr. Rita Marie Lascalzo, recommends 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes of waking up in the morning. That's hard to do also without a clean protein powder. So you can do your, any of the doTERRA, uh, slim and sassy. We've got the trim shake blends here. You could do, um, there's a vegan one, so, but get a lot. So I do two big scoops of that. I'm doing the chocolate, um, but you could do whichever flavor you like for this. Since it's a mint chocolate smoothie, we're going to do two big scoops of that here. You know what? I, is anyone else with me? I really wish that, and I'm, I'm putting it out in the universe. I'm manifesting abundance into our lap. You guys, I would love for doTERRA to come out with a, um, box of travel packets for the trim shake powder mm. because they did that with the drink mix and the drink mix I don't know anyone that enjoyed it or liked it or you know was <laughs> buying it that much because it was a little gritty but it would be so convenient to have that on the go be able to just have it in your bag if you're um, running around and you need to you know have a meal replacement or whatever I just really wish that they would give that option um, I'm a little disappointed that they don't so I'm hoping I'm really hopeful that over time when we continue to add these suggestions um, and you should always email products, the product support mm -hmm. at doTERRA.com, the email. I would love to see travel um, type of packets for the greens and for the trim shake. I just find, I feel like people would enjoy them more and it would be yeah. just really nice to offer. That's so true because what I end up doing is getting a little funnel and putting them in little baggies <laughs> and having one every day for when I'm traveling. That would save us a lot of time, right? But there's a market for it. So if, it, if there's a market for it, it would just be really nice for doTERRA to offer it. I think it's listening to the customers what we want and it would be just really great on the go because most of the people in doTERRA are women and we're really busy. I mean, women are just all over town getting everything done and um, it would just be awesome. So let's cross everything that that comes out maybe this year at convention. Yeah, and everybody email product support. <laughs> so speaking, speaking, yeah, speaking of convention, who's going to convention? Oh, I'm going. Got, got your tickets. They're almost all sold out. I oh, think. Oh, come on, guys. Have, yes. Um, have that. Uh, <laughs> so, bonus ingredient for you guys. This is collagen protein powder. So, I really like adding a collagen powder because just your protein powder alone typically is not going to get you to that 30 grams of protein recommended. Mm. So, this is really nice. This is bulletproof collagen protein. I also like Dr. Axe. He has a collagen protein that's really clean, vital proteins. Any type of protein powder is really, really great. And you can just add it and it's not gritty. You actually don't taste it. So the collagen is really great for healthy skin, hair, nails, recovering from surgery like where I am currently. So just getting in a little bit of extra protein, um, especially joint health. And what's interesting is my private health coaching clients notice a difference when they take their collagen protein powder and when they don't. So I like to add in a big scoop, you know, one or two scoops of that too, just to help with some support there. Uh, Dr. Laura, Robin's asking um, if there's a similar plant-based source for if you're vegan, like, um, like a pea protein type collagen, or if there's a you know, vegan version. I don't think there is. And what's really interesting is, so my mentor in the Nutritional Endocrinology Practitioner Program, um, with two hip surgeries, she's vegan. And she was like, you need to be getting collagen, like protein. <laughs> and it was just 
a big thing for her to be telling me that as a yeah. hardcore vegan. Um, so as far as I know, I don't think that there is, but you could up the pea protein powder in that. Um, I know there's some really good sources of like vegan fish oil and fish oil is really great for joint health as well. So that could be an option too. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that one's algae oil. Mm -hmm. So, um, like Robin, or do you do the V E Omega? The algae? Yeah. I actually do eat fish. So I oh, use okay. the right. Yeah, so. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. And you could do, you could make like uh, bone broth with the fish bones. And that That's would true. be a really great source of collagen, not to put in your smoothie, maybe but to put right. in your smoothie, um, or something else that would taste pretty good. Cool. And then what we're kind of after with all of our smoothies is protein, fiber, which we got in our greens and a healthy fat. So our healthy fat is going to be our organic coconut milk. And I really like native forest for this because it is in a BPA free liner. So it's a nice source of healthy fat. Ideally, we don't want to eat too much out of the can. But since I don't live in a place that I can easily get coconut cream <laughs> and open coconuts and do that, I go with theirs. And you can do about a half a cup or a big scoop. It just kind of depends. So healthy fats are essential for brain health, for hormonal health, for keeping you satiated and full. So I start with, you know, a couple big scoops. Do not fear the fat. There is a light version. Do not buy that. <laughs> <laughs> do not get the light version. Please get the full fat version with this. We don't want to be afraid of fats, but this is also, it's going to make your smoothie taste amazing. Tastes like ice cream is a dairy free option for you. And then the cream part is that thick part in the can. And there's still a lot of liquid at the bottom. So I'll do a big scoop or two of the cream. And then I pour in the liquid. So if you guys can see there, and I just kind of eyeball it to where I'm getting it covered good. Because if you do too much liquid, it's going to make your smoothie really liquidy. And I kind of am going for that thick kind of ice creamy texture with that. So that cat, cat is mentioning what about avocado? You can absolutely mm -hmm. use avocado instead. Avocado is a great healthy fat. It's also really going to add that texture and smoothness to it. You can also add banana, which is going to give you a lot of great potassium. So banana is another option, especially if you have um, avocados that are a little bit past the point of no return, that's perfect for your smoothie because just the same with bananas, like black bananas are perfect for smoothies because they really give you that consistency that Dr. Laura's talking about, that really smoothness. You don't want it gritty and you don't want it watery. You want it to be a really nice milkshake type of, um, type of texture. Yeah, that's, that's so true. And I will say this, I am a big fan of keeping things lower glycemic because the more that I do this work, the more that I see that a lot of people's blood sugar has an underlying issue where it's, we're headed towards pre-diabetes. Mm. You know, if we take a look at their hemoglobin A1C, which is kind of the average of blood sugar over the past three months, a lot of people it's too high. So even things like tropical fruits, the things that taste really good, if we're working up, if we're really working on losing weight, balancing our hormones, balancing our blood sugar. If you've got some pre-diabetes or diabetes things going on and you're really wanting to optimize that, go for lower glycemic. So things like berries, green apples, not red, because the red apples are sweeter, they have more sugar, and pears can be a really nice option for that. If you don't have those issues, go for it. Bananas, all of those things are really great. It's interesting. I think there's a bioindividuality with that. So I tend to err on the side of lower glycemic caution for general recommendations for everybody, but play with it and make it your own and also go based on what you feel good eating with that too. So we've got that in there. So now we're going to add our two drops of our peppermint essential oil. And this just gives it a nice minty kind of flavor. I love mint and chocolate. If you are not a chocolate fan, you could do wild orange. You could do drop a cinnamon, which is really supportive of blood sugar. All great things. So you can kind of play with that. My Vitamix has this nice little plunger. So that's what we're going to use. And you guys may want to mute. <laughs> it's going to get loud up in here. Um, now, don't forget, don't forget um, that if you want to get these little dropper tops, which I find really great, especially when you're using your oils in the kitchen, um, the folks at Share Oils have created a coupon code for me. So if you type in LeMay10, when you check out anytime between now and uh, April 30th, you're going to get 10% off all your purchases, which is really great because we just don't want to use too much. And it's very 
uh, it's very easy to let a couple of drops extra come out of the bottle. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you work really hard for your money. You work really hard to keep your oils in your home and we don't want to burn through them and we just want to, you know, use less is more. So if you don't have any of these dropper tops, they're really convenient for all your DIYs, your recipes, cooking and everything, especially when you're cooking with oils. These oils are so concentrated. You don't need a lot that when you, you know, you just don't want to ruin a recipe by overdoing it with oils. So when you're just learning, uh, I would recommend starting with a toothpick swirl. And for that, you just open up the reducer and then you just take the toothpick and you just swirl it in and get one drop or so. Um, and then you can swirl that in your recipe and you can gauge it based on your taste, how you like it. Things like lemon and the citrus aren't really as overpowering to me as things like ginger mm -hmm. or cinnamon. Um, cinnamon, not too much, but like oregano. cassia and oregano. <laughs> Yeah, those oils are very, very strong, cardamom. Um, so just, I don't want you to waste your oil. So uh, LeMay 10, if you wanna get the droppers into your house and anything else, cause Share Oils has awesome shipping, super fast, and their bottles are great. I love everything from there. That's all I have to say about the droppers for now. Yeah, that's a really good point. That's a really, really good point cause a little goes a long way with your oils, right? Highly, highly concentrated. Yeah, okay, totally. so I'm gonna turn this up. This is gonna get loud. So um, mute your device if you need to for a little bit. Okay, so I have a Vitamix. I think Hillary has the Ninja. And both work really well. I've had this since 2013. Never had a problem with it, really. And then let's see if I can pour it into the glass. I don't even know if you guys can see this. <laughs> Maybe. And after we, um, after we finish, like once everyone's smoothie's done, we should totally take a little screenshot of everyone with their smoothie. That would be really cute. Yes, that would be super fun. So we've got our smoothie here. I really like um, either a Yeti. So again, if you're doing essential oils, you wanna make sure that you're not drinking out of plastic. So glass or stainless steel. So I have a little glass one here um, with a glass straw that I just got off of Amazon. They have stainless steel straws too. So. Mm. I'm gonna actually add a little more. I'm using cashew milk. This is unsweetened um, cashew milk. I really love this. And I'm gonna add a little bit more because I like it a little thinner. Uh, mine's a little too dense. Yeah, you can make it denser, thinner. Um, I really like this Califia. Mm -hmm. It's the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. This is a really nice brand because it doesn't have the carinogen in it. Um, some of the other nasties. So I like this one or silk and always opt for unsweetened because different kind of um, nut milks, <laughs> milk is just a sugar bomb. <laughs> so be careful about that too. And so as you guys can see, it was really quick. I mean, we talked through it. We talked a lot through that, but you, it's really literally just dump everything into your blender, blend it all up and you've got something good to go. And you could do variations of this. So you could do a chocolate peanut butter cup smoothie by doing Yum. some almond or cashew butter with a chocolate protein powder. You could do a chocolate covered strawberry smoothie by putting some frozen strawberries instead of the ice and your chocolate protein powder. You could do a pumpkin pie smice smoothie. So get some uh, organic canned pumpkin from a BPA free liner and put, you know, a drop of cinnamon, a drop of ginger in there. You can put that with a coconut milk and a vanilla protein powder. That can be really, really yummy in the fall time. I like to do an apple pie smoothie with some green apple, some canned coconut milk, the vanilla protein powder, throw in some walnuts. Um, can be really nice too, or pecans and some pumpkin pie spice and, you know, a drop of cinnamon or something like that can be really great. So this is really just a jumping off point. You could put um, chia seeds, which are a really nice fat for healthy omega-3. So you could top your smoothie with just some chia seeds on top. I can do that right now. And that's a great option too. I also like to make chia water. So putting like two tablespoons in my water with a drop or two of lemon and some Himalayan sea salt or Celtic sea salt and drinking that throughout the day. It's really nice, especially if you are 
constipated, which is not normal, which means we need to do some work on your gut healing and working on slowly increasing fiber. That could be nice too. So you could put some chia seeds on top. I don't know if you guys can. Oh, look. Ha ha. Chia seeds. Yummy. <laughs> look at these delicious smoothies. They look so good. Do you guys want to hold yeah. up our smoothies? Okay, let's see if we can see everybody here. Let's do like a Brady Bunch view. Maybe. Okay. Let's see if it'll... Let me take a picture. Okay, are we ready? We're smoothing it up here. Okay, everybody smile. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, let's do one more because- Oh, Jakey, hi Jakey, you're so cute. Oh, does he have a smoothie too? Yes. Yeah. Love it. What okay. a cutie bear. <laughs> Say cheers. Cheers. One, cheers. Okay. Yay. This is fantastic. So Yummy. Yeah, enjoy your smoothies. Mm. That's really good. Nice and rich. So always kind of look for that combo, protein, fat, fiber with everything, kind of starting lower carb. Um, and what's amazing is just this one change, just swapping cereal or whatever you are having for breakfast for a green smoothie in the morning can be a game changer because ideally we want to be able to go from breakfast to lunch and go four to five hours without needing snacks, mm -hmm. feeling satiated, having stable blood sugar levels, all of this, and just a green smoothie can be a game changer for my clients. They feel better, their energy levels are better. We're really supporting their adrenals and their health overall. They're getting more fiber, they're getting more vegetables. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> so this can be a really awesome option for you to just work on getting more leafy greens and vegetables into your life and it tastes good <laughs> because if it doesn't taste good, we're not gonna do it, right? So we yeah. want these options to taste really yummy. Kat also likes to add almond butter um, to her morning smoothie. I love that. Mm. I also love to use uh, cashew butter or almond butter, and I find it's really nice and dense, especially when you're doing anything with the chocolate or vanilla. Um, one of my favorite ways to use the almond butter or cashew butter is with vanilla and do cinnamon bark, and it almost tastes like a cinnamon kind of snickerdoodle sort of flavor, and it's so good, and I love to add um, that cashew butter or that almond butter. It almost makes it taste like a dessert. So I've done a lemon cake before. I've done a blueberry pie before, you know, in a smoothie version in just a, a shake because you've got that denseness from the nutty butter that you're using and it just makes it taste like a cake or a pie crust. And it can give you that flavor that you want without those nasty things from the Starbucks drive through like the scones and muffins and, um, and all those little pies and things. You just, they're packed with sugar. Yeah, absolutely. And another idea, just options, options for healthy fats. You could put a handful of walnuts in there, a handful mm -hmm. of pecans, a handful of uh, walnuts are really great because they're higher in omega threes, but we want to balance. So things like almonds are higher in omega sixes. So we want to, to balance that. If you're going to do almonds, do some chia seeds with that, some flax seeds, something to kind of help with that and rotate your nuts and seeds. We don't want to be doing mm -hmm. the same ones all the time. Variety really is the spice of life. Another great healthy fat option is some XCT oil, which can be really nice as well. You can put that in there. So don't fear fats, guys. Fats are our friends. We need them so much. And Hillary, what do you think? Should we bring Mark in here? Yes, I think let's person? bring Mark on. Boys like smoothies too. So yeah. we'll have to introduce my husband here. I'm, I'm going to unplug this so you guys can hear him okay. He's, he's getting set up here. Where he does the magic bullet. Uh, he has the magic bullet. Let's see. Here, come say hi. Hi, everybody. Hi! <laughs> you guys see? Look at this. I've got a grabber in the corner for post-op hip surgery. So, oh, oh, clonicles! The clonicles are back! <laughs> I miss them! <laughs> it's still there a little bit. Okay, so Mark's oh. going to... His, oh! Danielle's what? asking, what is XCT oil? Ah, so that's a good, that's a good question. So XCT oil, it's, um, it's basically MCT oil. So it's medium chain triglyceride oil. It's, it's like fractionated coconut oil is kind of what it is. So some people that don't tolerate coconut oil well, sometimes when we remove the lauric acid, it makes it a little bit easier to digest. Now XCT is just kind of the bulletproof um, trade name there. So they go through great lengths. I really like Bulletproof and Dave Asprey. They go through great lengths to really source things in a really nice way. So this is really benefit for like brain support, cognitive support, energy support, things like that. And it tastes really good and you can't really taste it 
in your smoothie. It's not going to change the taste very much, but it's just, you know, fats are going to help to give us um, some energy. They're going to help to really help your energy last longer and to support you. So this is just kind of a nice option too. It's kind of an upgraded um, MCT oil. So if people don't do well just with coconut oil, we'll recommend to do um, some MCT oil, like the, the liquid coconut oil, or this is just kind of an upgraded version of that. I love it. I just wanted Mark, let's, let's see what you got. All right, let's do it. <laughs> so this is a, a good meal replacement shake that I, that I do for lunch or dinner sometimes. If I just need, I play a lot of racquetball, uh, so sometimes I come home and not really overly hungry. I just want a little something uh, in, my, in my system before I head to bed. So, so this is the meal replacement shake that I use. So I'll take a, a little bit of this crushed ice here. Fill it up about. Oops. Ooh, party. See? It's okay. It's part of the fun. <laughs> it is. If you're not getting messy, you're not having fun. That's so exactly right. There needs to be a little bit of a mess here, all right? That's exactly this right. This never happens to Paula D. <laughs> okay. So we've got our about half a cup of ice here, and then we take our uh, the Califia almond milk, unsweetened, of course. Mm -hmm. Because you're already plenty sweet enough, right? Aren't you, Mark? Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's already sweet enough. Yeah. He was going to get you off dairy, but we made the switch, and it was a long process. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but your gut will thank you. Yes, that's right. But you like it now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. This, I think this stuff tastes better than, you know, your normal milk. It, yeah. It, yeah. Premier. It just, it just tastes better. Yeah. It's pretty good. And so this is the powder that I use. It's the doTERRA trim shake. And this is the uh, um, doTERRA orange cream, which tastes just like, I don't know if you remember uh, Dreamsicle, uh, the orange Dreamsicles. This is, it tastes exactly like that. And it's delicious. So it, it's my new go-to shake. So we'll take a big scoop of this guy. Here, we'll give you some room to groove here. Coming off the table. Get our powder in there, and then we'll put on our Magic Bullet slicer. Get it on there good. Oh. I know, it doesn't want to go on correctly. It's not lining up correctly. Stand by, we're having it's okay. difficulties. Mm -hmm. Operator error. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to go flying everywhere. That would be really fun on our... There's our messy and there's too messy. <laughs> That's too messy. You've crossed the line when you get... Yeah. Especially with laptops and high-definition yeah, cameras have, um, going here. Electronics here. <laughs> yeah, you don't want liquid in the electronics. All right, now we're good, so... All right, let's rock and roll. Let's rock it. Let's do it. Let's go for about 15 to 20 seconds. You always have to do the eyebrow wiggle when you're doing the blender. If you see my periscopes, you know that's just required. It does when things are in the blender. You gotta do the eyebrow. Oh, the eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's the universal blender. It's an amazing blender brows. Signal. <laughs> nice. And oh. there we go. It's all. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Cheers. Go get Cheers. Cheers. This boy to put some greens. Yeah. That would be good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe some extra collagen. Maybe a little extra yeah. oil. We're working it. But, that, but hey. Step. Mm, delicious. Yes. Just like a dreamsicle. Just like a dream. Yep, in shake form. So we have to say, I went to a bridal shower. So those of you guys that listen to Two Curls on Oil podcast know Andrew. And Andrew is marrying Mark's little sister in like less than two months. That's right. The end of May. And we, I was at her bridal shower and I came home and Mark was like, I tried the doTERRA trim shake and it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it's all he talked about for a little while. He was the new flavor, so he is a fan. Yay. Please let this stay, stick yes. around. Yes, yes. Don't discontinue it, please. Mark said it was the best protein powder he's ever had. So, now, and speaking of protein powder, um, Kat's asking if there's another good source of protein powder, of protein that's not in a powder form. So, Laura, what are your thoughts on that? 
Huh. Another good source of protein that's not in a powder form. Well, you could get, I mean, ideally, we, I really try to get people, instead of thinking about it as being breakfast, breakfast, to think about it as meal one. So you could do like a chicken soup for breakfast or leftovers from the night before for dinner or just something mm-hmm. that's going to have some protein and fat and fiber for you to keep you satiated during the day. So you can do fish. Now, granted, 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes is really hard to do without a protein powder. Well, but you could do nuts, right? I mean, a nut butter, what's the, what's the protein content of a nut butter? Uh, I think it's like around maybe four grams for a tablespoon, something like that, four to seven grams. Okay. So it's not a whole lot. So you yeah. do have to kind of um, go out of your way a little bit for that. But, uh, you know, if you tolerate eggs, for some people, they have a sensitivity to eggs. I typically see if there's a high viral load, for example, like if somebody's dealing with an Epstein-Barr virus or a monovirus thing, you know, eggs might not be a great food. Again, it, it depends on the person. But I think there's like six, seven grams of protein in one egg. So again, that's a lot of eggs. That we're talking about so I, I do like protein powders I feel like they're a nice option but um, yeah we can ask Robin see what see what Robin thinks yeah well you can just I, unmute there you go yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I do really like protein powders too for that reason but um, if you eat fish I, I like fish in the morning for sure um, as I, I was eating more of a vegan diet a few years back and then I found out about some food sensitivities to soy and corn and mm-hmm. I was like okay I'm not going to be a, a soy free vegan <laughs> so I added eggs and fish back into my diet okay um, which has worked really well for me but it, like your it depends on the individual so. yeah yeah you know typically the top seven food sensitivities just sensitivities, not allergies, but are the causing irritation in the gut is gluten, dairy, sugar, soy, corn, peanuts, and eggs. And so I take my private health coaching clients through an elimination diet of those. We take them out for 30 days. We reintroduce and we see, okay, which, which ones are culprits, which ones are causing issues with that. You know, really, it's my belief that nobody should really be eating gluten, dairy, or sugar, especially for having health issues or concerns. My mentor, Dr. Reed or me, she actually will not take on a coaching client that's eating gluten, dairy, or sugar because mm-hmm. she says in her mind, I can't help you heal if you're eating those foods. Mm-hmm. Not get you better if you're eating those foods. So she has a really strict kind of protocol with that. I, you know, I kind of ease them into that. It's my job as a health coach to really hold their hand and help them to make those transitions and be able to fit this into their already busy lifestyle and be able to make things sustainable. So we may start with one thing. My clients may pick one thing. Actually, what's a better place to do is just start with adding. Adding in more water, adding in more leafy greens. Like don't just take everything off, like rip the the kind of tablecloth off, so to speak, and take everything out from under that person, rip the rug out from under them. But add things in and then we work on letting go of the unhealthy things you know the trans fats the artificial sweeteners the processed foods that kind of junk and work on eating real whole food now Kat's asking um she was just under the impression that the protein powders weren't good because they were using an alternative sweetener source so you know you just really want to be a label reading gangster you want to look at the labels and um laura what are your thoughts on stevia I love stevia. So I think stevia is a really nice um, natural sweetener. Stevia, xylitol, erythritol, lohan. There's more natural sweeteners that are coming on the market that are really great options. Like, yes, be a label reading gangster. Read your protein powders because, again, um, the trim shakes have whey protein. And that may work for some people. That may not work for some people. So for me, I have a pretty... There's different types of dairy. So there's whey, um, there's the lactose, there's the casein. Some of my clients have sensitivities to all of them. Some of them, it's just a few of them. So Mark does fine with whey protein powder. It's not a great option for me. So doing the vegan version is a better one for me. Or um, I do like foreign protein powder. So I look for protein powders that are elimination diet compliant. Um, Like this is one that I like, uh, Thorn MediClear. So you find kind of which ones work for you. And yeah, you want to look for ones that don't have a lot of added sugar, that have clean ingredients, that 
are safe that you can pronounce, you know, ideally if it looks like a science experiment, don't eat it. And, and I think that's really where people get a little bit confused is so many people are calorie counting and we should really be chemical counting. <laughs> like if you mm -hmm. can recognize something as food, your body is not going to recognize that as food either. So as long as it's a clean protein source, I think that's a good option. And also, if you're if you're um, concerned about your greens going to waste, I know a lot of times people will say, you know, I want to add greens to my smoothies, but it goes bad in the fridge or it gets slimy. You can freeze your greens. You can freeze your spinach and um, just parcel it out as you need it. And you can even grab it and use it frozen. So you can use a frozen spinach. You can just buy it fresh and maybe put it in a few containers, and that way it will prevent the oxidation process a little bit. It'll prolong the, the life of your produce a little bit longer. But um, the tarot greens is another great option if you maybe are living alone or you live in a small apartment where you don't have a lot of refrigerator space or freezer space. You can get all of your greens and all of your fruits and vit vitamins and fruits and vegetables like from that, from the, from the fruits and vegetables in this um, powder and it's really nice. It's got kale, dandelion, spinach, parsley, collard greens, broccoli powder, cabbage leaves, wheatgrass, alfalfa grass. I mean, it, it has a lot of great things in here. So if you don't have the fresh, you can always opt for this for the greens. And it's nice because it lasts in your pantry and there's nothing bad in there. You know, it's just, um, it's just really nice and it's a great option if you want to pack your smoothies with a little extra. Now you can also add this to spaghetti sauce to um, your salads, you can sprinkle it on there, you can just add this to anything, and it's a great way to just um, up-level your meals. Yeah, you can add it just to water, and do green, yeah. and do that throughout the day if you're feeling a little bit of an energy crash or something to kind of get those in too. So yeah, that's yeah. an option, especially when traveling, it's really nice to travel with a green powder when, if you know you're not gonna be able to juice or be in a situation where Maybe things are limited, options are limited, and you won't be able to make green smoothies or something for a short amount of time. It's a really nice option to have those things. Yeah. Now, Laura, before we end, um, can you tell everyone what we did before we had our Two Curls on Oil event tonight? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> this is going to be interesting with Mark here. Um, <laughs> so we – actually, it's right over there on the table. You want to go grab all that stuff? So um, – I would say, where do I even begin to describe this, Hori? Well, sometimes, sometimes we, you just need to cleanse your energy. You just yeah. need to get the bad, you just need to get, get it gone. You just need yeah. a blank slate, clear slate. Funny for me to talk about any of this to you because my background is physical therapy. That's what I have my doctorate in. And I was very, show me the research, is this evidence-based, blah, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Like all of this. And then when I went on this like healing journey, through all of these different things, like the cancer, the Lyme, the hip dysplasia, mm -hmm. the, all of this stuff, it really had me open up to other options and not just look at Western medicine for everything. And I think there's a time and place for Western medicine, but I think when you bring everything together, it can be really powerful. So I have a friend who does a motion code, and I do believe that we have to look at ourselves as a whole body, mind, body, soul, spirit, and that emotions can manifest physically in the body and different things. And so she did some emotion code work on me and she recommend to sage the house. So this is cool. If you guys ever watch um, Teresa Caputo, the Long Island medium, she always like sages between people when she does readings. So I totally walked into natural grocers and I was like, where's the sage? And they had it. <laughs> and so I bought a little assorted, ooh, see, here we go. Shaman smudge assorted kit. Oh yes. And I felt very crunchy, um, but it was like right next to the essential oils, so I didn't feel that bad. I was like, ah, and then I was there, and I was like telling the lady, you really don't want to buy these essential oils because it's kind of a waste your money to get this brand. Like, here's my yeah. Um, yeah, so I totally got that, and I got this little, I think this is actually really pretty. It's like the little, I don't know, smudging bowl. Ooh. And um, so we totally did. We looked up. We did it together. We did it together virtually. We were on the phone. Yes. We are soul sisters. And yes, we just looked up. I literally YouTubed how to sage your house. And um, we figured it out. And we found affirmations, uh, smudging affirmations to say while we did that. So we cleared ourselves. 
Um, Mark was taking a nap on the couch, but I cleared him as well. <laughs> Don't you feel good, babe? Mm. I'm Drinking all clear. smoothie, we cleared mm. his, we cleared him. <laughs> so happy. And so I took. Um, so this is just something that's interesting to me. Both of my grandmothers are past now, and when I go outside, I often see white feathers, and I know it's them. I, it's just a sign. I know that they're with me, and uh, they started getting bigger. <laughs> And I, I saved this one. And so, you know, Teresa has her feather. So I felt like I was trying to say my inner Teresa. And so you, you light it on fire. <laughs> you, light, you light the end on fire. And um, you just let it burn. And it kind of smokes. And then you just go through the house and kind of do that. And we just um, cleanse the area and, you know, get out negative energy. And it doesn't matter how woo-woo you want to go with this. We know that there are, there are energy vampires in the world, right? Like you go into a room and Miss Negative Nelly person is there and it's like oh, Debbie Downer. Yeah. yeah and you just feel it so yeah it was cool to you know you want to smudge your home um oils that are good for that Terra Shield Purify On Guard oil up my friends oil up yes like it was really fun it was really fun we did it together and um, we're putting our house on the market in the next couple of weeks and, and so we've had we've just had a lot of bad juju come through this house um, we've had contractors steal money from us we've had contractors just take advantage of us over the years and it's been really challenging and because of that we've actually shifted and george has taught himself on youtube how to replace how to put in bamboo flooring how to redo plumbing how to build a, a deck he's he's done all these things and he's taught himself because we just decided enough is enough and we're, we're done with all of that negativity and so we decided to do this together and i figured you know what it's a great time to kind of cleanse that negative energy in our home before we have <clears throat> strangers coming in here and feeling if this is the right home for them for their family and we want the right family to um, to pass the, we want to pass this home on to the right family. We put a lot of energy and, and heart and soul into this home. We've worked on it for about nine years nonstop. Um, and so we, we just wanted to clean that energy, cleanse all that negativity, get that out of there. And, um, it was just a really great opportunity to do that. And I had my first Reiki session last week, which is just an energy balancing type of um, experience. And I really enjoyed that. And I, I have been kind of looking into that and just learning more about the feeling. You know, I, I have been feeling a little bit more that when I'm around certain people or even if I'm just speaking with them over the phone or communicating with them, that I can feel their energy, whether it's negative or positive, low vibrational or high vibrational. And it helps me in my life because, you know, you don't want to have negative people in your life and you really want to get to the point where you can feel comfortable with being a good judge of character and being able to tell if someone is not pure, if their intentions are not pure in your life, in your work and all these other things. And so anyway, it was just something that Dr. Laura and I had talked about and we said, let's do it together. So we got on the phone and we walked through our houses and we cleansed doorways and we cleansed our energy and you know what? Good vibes only. So this is a good vibe tribe. Negativity can just go to the curb with the chemicals. Um, absolutely. And I will say, I really did feel better afterwards. I felt a shift. I felt a shift in the house. I think too. How I was feeling. I just felt good. I felt like, oh, like just a new, a new thing. So I don't know. That may be a fun thing to do monthly, just to kind of yeah. collect. And uh, I'm slowly getting into. I think when you get into oils and crystals and some of the different things, I don't know. You get to that point where you become more open and and trying different things and seeing what works for you. And I know for me, I don't know if this was the case for you, Hillary, but for me. I was able to kind of open up to more of that and actually feel more um, that intuitive sense yeah. heightened when I started cleaning up my diet. It was like, ooh, something changed. <laughs> I'm noticing yeah. um, changes in that with that. So, yeah, it's very interesting. I would encourage you guys to try it and tag us. <laughs> yeah. Well, Robin says that she was looking at Sage tonight and she didn't buy it, but next time. And then Danielle's thought about it. Um, Mary said she has friends that do that. Kathy said that they actually did that at her school and they're honoring the Native Americans, uh, mm -hmm. which is really great to teach children and little ones to honor different, um, you know, different cultures and their social norms and their belief systems. And Colleen said that she actually sages shopping bags or yard sale items and she does her saging process every full moon. So I think that we should do that every full moon. It'll just be part of our routine. I love that. I love that, Colleen. I actually, so I have all my oils together on the wall and I totally saged them. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like, 
they do the oils and I did yes. the, um, so my friend who does the emotion code, she is, um, actually in my upline, she's the one who introduced me to oils and she recommended lemongrass, sandalwood and purify to diffuse in the home. And I also put that on the bottom of my feet as well. So that was just a nice kind of cleansing blend, something that you guys can try. But yeah, I love that. I love the full moon. I'm doing stuff cyclical because as women, we do our cycles are like that. And I don't know if you've ever been an ER nurse or work in the ER, you know that there's something real like related to the moon and how we feel. And you just think about the moon and the tide and how that fluctuates and changes things. I think that's a real thing. So um, that's fascinating, Colleen. Thanks for sharing. And that's something yeah. that um, we're going to have to do it. Just cleanse. We're going to do it. Yeah. Well, and I think when Dr. Laura was saying that when she cleaned, when she cleaned up her diet, she felt that sort of an, uh, you know, a spiritual awakening in other ways. And I think that it makes sense because when you, especially if you start taking the lifelong vitality pack, you start to realize that when you are eating things that your body can easily break down and you're supporting your nutrition in other ways, it's eliminating a lot of that brain fog and you start to feel more mental clarity. When you're eating processed foods that are heavy, weighing you down, making you feel lethargic and tired, that's not supporting your body the way it needs. And so your body's so tired, your body, you don't have energy, you don't feel clarity in your thought process and you're not focused, you're just all over the place. And so I definitely see the link to that for sure. Yeah, and Colleen brought up a really good point about um, putting crystals under the full moon. And that's something that I, have done. It's really interesting. If you get a book on crystals and just read the different things kind of related to that, it's really fascinating too. But I, I have a few and I do put them outside <laughs> in the full moon to kind of charge them and kind of clear that energy. So that's really nice too. And yeah. um, somebody asked about the blend and it was lemongrass, sandalwood and purify for the oils. And it actually smells really good guys. We, I yeah. Caesar was like, ooh, smells really good. Right, babe? You also, you also want to open a window. You want to open a few windows in the home so that all of that negative energy can, can find its way out of the house. So the idea is that the smoke that's coming from the sage, it's going to absorb those toxic negative energies and move it out of the home through the, the windows and things like that. So like around your doorways and around yourself, you know, and um, different areas of the home, it's just a really nice thing. And you're gonna just feel relaxed because frankly, you're not focusing on anything else at the time. You're not worrying about homework or packing lunches or folding laundry. You're just really focusing on your breathing and you're being intentional with your energy and all that. And so that process alone is gonna help ground you. Um, and I would encourage you to try it and it, you know, just see what you think about it and let us know. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was a very interesting experience once you uh, kind of open up to that and it was fun and I think it was helpful to do it with a friend because it was like, okay, we're, we're doing it. We're lighting it on fire now. We're going to see what happens. So it was really fun. It was fun. I, I hope that you guys will try it, but, um, but we really thank you for spending your time with us and we went a little over time, so um, we don't want to take too much of your night, but we really appreciate you guys joining us. And in April, we'll probably do maybe a little Q and a, you guys can ask questions about the business, about any oil things that you might need to know about. So we'll try to get that on the schedule soon um, in the next couple weeks so that you can plan for April. Um, and if there's anything that you want us to talk about, let us know and we'll be happy to do that but um, we can't wait to announce who wins the greens we'll share that um, probably maybe tomorrow um, or later tonight if we get a chance but we thank you so much for joining and being a part of our essential oil conversation in our community and then if you guys have any um, questions you can unmute for a minute or two and we'll keep the zoom chat open um, and then we'll just say good night so oh, quick shout out to alex with essential oil style because she did yes. do the amazing giveaway with the podcast and she has gifted us with a coupon code just through this month for our tribe it's curl squad it's on the two curls on oil page but I'm, I'm like donning one of her shirts so this is i'll hook you up with frank um i'll hook you up yes with frank. thank you alex you are awesome it's fabulous she's got the best shirts i have like i don't know six of them something i've she's awesome at least yes <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um unmute yourself if you have any questions Sherry, does your dog have any questions? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to say I'm new. To this. Like I had never seen you guys do this stuff before, and this was really oh, cool. Hi. And it's so 
fun to hear what you guys, like I said, I'm back in school for dietetics. And so hearing your advice for what you say with the food and everything, it's so, it was really interesting and very, very helpful. So thank you. Sure. Yeah, it really is. It really is the foundational pillar of your wellness, of what you're eating, because your food is fueling your body, your brain, your body systems, your muscles, everything. And when you start to make that shift and make it fun, there's so many fun ways. Like we had on a Friday night, we're just sitting around hanging out with our friends who have, you know, similar um, interests in us. We love, we all have a passion for natural wellness and it doesn't have to be expensive. You know, you can just use the things that you have in your freezer and your pantry and you can make a really delicious delicious treat and you can invite friends over to do that too and just hang out and have a girls night in or a just couples night and have game night or whatever in your home um, and you can share this passion for wellness and natural living with your friends and family and it doesn't have to be scary and you don't have to stand up and and talk to like talk down at people you know stand up in front of them like a lecture you don't have to do that you can just sit around the table and make smoothies together and maybe make four or five and pass them around and let them try um, the last time I did a little um, chemicals to the curb play date last weekend with uh, one of my new oilers and we did a little magnesium mocktail tasting and we just made a bunch of different flavors and combinations and we let everyone try them and we had little kids and teenagers and grown-ups and it was really fun and so we just encourage you to do things that are fun and even if you're not local with people get on zoom it's totally free and you can feel like you're in the next room with each other so if you have long distance friends have a little you know video chat night um play date you know phone date and show them what you're doing with oils and it can really spark that conversation and it's actually really, really healthy for us. We were designed to be tribal, especially women. We have that bond. You think about the red tents and women really connect. It's good for our hormonal health. It's good for our health overall in general to have that group of close knit friends that we can reach out to. So this is fun. We're kind of creating that tribe and that vibe. But yeah, I love what Hillary said about get on a zoom call with your best girlfriend. That can be the best thing that you can do for your health and to support her health as well it can be really powerful. And you can also do that on Facebook, I think too. There's mm -hmm. a Facebook chat option. So yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, well, does anyone else have any other questions or comments that they wanted to share? I just wanted to say thank you. This is my time on here too. And I really enjoyed it. Oh, thanks, Mary. We're so glad that you joined us. Now, where are you joining us from? Las Vegas, Nevada. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. No, it's nice, nice, nice. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Indies right now here. Oh, that's nice. Okay. And Kathy, you are in Canada, right? Oh, you're still muted. We can't hear you yet. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. Yes. Now you can hear me? Yes. Yay. Yeah. We're in Keswick in Canada. I need, I really need to brush up on my Canadian geography because um, Canada is huge. It is really big. Yeah. Kathy, <laughs> I'm from Vancouver. Oh, okay. <laughs> so fun. Canadians in the house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Texas, but I'm from Vancouver. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I, I have a new oiler who's um, in Canada, and we were talking about the A to Z chewable, and she said, no, it's A to Zen. I was like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so I think it's fun. Eh? That is fun. <laughs> and easy air. Breathe, breathe is easy air, right? That's right. It's easy yeah. air in Canada. Zen yeah. or something? Digest sounds a little different. Uh, it's called Zest, Zest Gen or something like that. Yeah. We're learning. And we'll Melaleuca is tea. Well, we have tea tree here. Oh, yeah. Ah. Okay. Great. Well, thank you guys again so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next time. And stay tuned for our April podcast, and we're always going to be sharing a giveaway. So um, make sure that you share that and you comment every month when we um, share the feed for our podcast because you'll be able to win whatever we are sharing that month. And we just love bringing the tools and vendors and all that stuff to you that we love um, in this lifestyle. So it's really great to make sure that you have the right tools, that you can use your oils, that you can share your oils, that you can feel empowered in your healing journey for you because it's only for you. This is your journey and no one else's. So you're at your own pace. Don't let anyone else's journey affect your confidence about where you are going in your journey because it's, it's totally individualized to you. So um, be sure that you are focusing on making sure that you are feeling good with the things that you're doing.
Yeah, absolutely. So I think everybody's commented, but if anybody hasn't, just make sure you comment in the thread because that's how we're going to yes. do our, our giveaway. Somebody's going to win this. So that's very exciting. And is there anything else that we forgot Sorry, that I need to mention? I don't think so. I think we covered it all. Well, we got dinner covered. Okay. Cheers. Yeah, we do. Cheers. Thanks for joining us. Um, <laughs> much fun. And we'll see you guys next month. Reach out to Yay. us. Yay. Uh, have any questions? Yeah. Bye, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye.